here to talk about doing formulas in Excel and a few things you need to look out for. For example, we have this spreadsheet here where we're comparing sales between two years. If we're going to add them up, I click on the Sigma key, which we all know. But take a look. Since it says 2009 up there, you've got to be careful when you're highlighting. So make sure we highlight there, complete the formula. We bring it over to the right. Not move. Oops. Get that black cross here. A little tricky sometimes, but we have it over there clicking over here. Do you see these green triangles? It thinks there's an error because it wants you to add here. If I click in here, we go into here, and it's additional things here. A couple of things you could do. You could just leave it alone. It's not going to print out. Or if you feel like it, you could click on ignore error. Then I could go over in here, drop down, ignore error. Next thing I want to do. I want to know what the increase decrease is from one year to the previous year. A lot of people get tangled up in this here. What you have to do is subtract last year's number from this year's number and that sum total has to be divided by which year? Last year's. For example, if you made $100 last week, you made $110 this week, it's a 10% increase. 110 minus 100 divided by that. So we go into the equal, put in the parentheses, otherwise it will not work. Make it look like a percent and it's a 42 percent increase. It went up 125, almost half. Drag it down and it will show what has happened here. Down 33 percent, very obvious. You could check this out with the calculator. End of this discussion on working with your formulas.